everyone, it's me again, upcoming deaconess Shakoya Brown, and welcome back to the Voice of the Prophet with your very own Pastor Prophet Emmanuel Renee. Amen. Please like, please tune in, please share. The word for today is Are You Laying the Womb Foundation? See you soon. Bye bye, y'all. Grace, peace, mercy be unto you from God, our Father, and Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Emmanuel Rene. I have to my left. Minister Keith Doggett. Praise the Lord. Praise Lord. Like and subscribe. If you have not to the voice of the prophet, so you can get um, this notification for voice of the prophet and also Ndung Day Prayer and also Thursday Bible study, which is tonight. And or well Wednesday, well Wednesday night and also um, Thursday night prayer. Amen. And anything on Saturday prayer and midnight prayer, which is at 12 mm -hmm. on YouTube. So press like and subscribe so Amen. you can get um, the notification so you can turn on Amen. to our different services. Amen. Yes. Amen. So today, this, th this day, Thursday, we're going to talk about are you laying the wrong foundation? Mm -hmm. First Corinthians 3.13. Now, he began to bring the God's holy word. Every man's work shall be made manifest. For the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. Amen. Amen. The Amen. fire, right, um, should declare what sort it is. Um, are you? We're gonna talk about are you laying the wrong foundation. A lot of times. You know, um, when we are building on the wrong foundation or out of code, there's always something wrong that happens. Uh, sometimes a fire come, and I call the fire trials and tribulation that come to show you, hey, maybe I'm going the wrong uh, direction. But a lot of us don't understand the trial and the tribulation of our lives. And while we are building either ministry or are we building our relationships or whatever, now, you know, um, I call the trials and tribulation, the red flags. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of us, the red flags, even in construction, it says stop, mm -hmm. something wrong, right? right. Um, something's happening. Mm -hmm. A lot of us don't, right, right. don't, don't understand the red flags or the fire mm -hmm. that comes in or the trials or the tribulation right, right. to get us to take a second look at what we're building and maybe we're not building it the right That's way. A um, couple of times I try to put tables together. Mm -hmm. And one of the things about me, I don't like to read instruction while I'm building. I just, you know, look at the picture and think I know how to do it. And, you know, I look at the picture in my head, <laughs> and I got it, I got it. <laughs> That's so good. Um, a lot of times I also, when I look at the picture and I look at the instruction and how I'm building this thing, right? I found out that I may have put it upside down or put it in the wrong side and the wrong things. So a lot of times, um, inspection um, come for us to look at things and see where are we messing it up right. and to really fix it. The blueprint help us to understand how we're building up to code yes. and whatever that needs to be fixed, the fire and the trial and tribulations, hey, fix that situation, fix that thing. Because guess what happened? You're not building it according to the code of what God yes. is calling you to do it Amen. and just do it all over again. Sometimes most of us ignore that right. and we keep building anyway. Yes, that's and good. And we find out eventually, you know, we have to throw it away yeah. right. because it's not solid, it's not strong, it's not able to uh, 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 bear any strength yes. or pressure or anything else. That's good. Now, um, I'm going to read that on um, verse 13 in the Amplified. It says, The work of each one will become plainly, openly known, shown for what it is, for the day of Christ will disclose it and declare it because it will be revealed with fire, and the fire will test and critically appraise the character and worth of the work, right? Um, each person has done. So when it comes down to it, the character 
is going to be revealed to the work and how much you take care of it and how much you do it and the way that you do it. So, so you know, when somebody's doing something, you can tell if they're doing it right or wrong according to their attitude and mindset. You can tell when somebody cooking, you know, uh, um, you know, when somebody cooking, you say, oh man, they put their foot on it. Yeah. And you could also tell when somebody just throws something together just to throw it and that's it. Yes. Because they don't take their time with it. They don't do what needs to be done to make sure it's done right. Mm -hmm. You understand that? Mm -hmm. So now the fire come to reveal character mm -hmm. on how you build it. Come so on. character is important and motives is important in how you build and what you do and the way that you're doing it. And also the motives in your heart. Hearts are being revealed by fire to what? So what do I mean by that? Um, well, you in any kind of boards, right? A fire will come to test you. Right. Why were you doing it? Were you there because God called you? Were you there because of whatever? So the day will come, which is being tested by fire to test why yes. you were doing what you're doing. Amen. If you can walk away, your heart was never in it. If you can move out because of trial and tribulation, mm -hmm. Fire and trials will come and test you while you're in the church because you're going to deal with difficult people. Yes. Um, you're going to deal with all, you know, you know, I try to tell people, you know, one out of 10, if you count 10 people, know there's one devil. If there's 20, know there's two. If there's 30 people, know there's three devils. If there's 40, know there's four. If there's 50, no, there's five. If there's 100, no, there's 10 devils in the church. Come on now, brother. <laughs> True. Amen. True. That's what the, you know, right. Jesus said, I've not chosen you 12, then one of you is a devil. So in every 12, I'm sorry to say, but there's a devil somewhere. Amen. So no, understand that in the midst of the people, there are devils in the church. And this is what we have to really know. You know, not everybody there is angels, yeah. right. but there's going to be some devils and they're going to try you. They're going to test you mm -hmm. because their job is to test why you're here. Mm -hmm. uh, are you building right? right? Some some devils come against you and everything you do, especially yeah. as a pastor, yeah. as a leader, mm -hmm. minister, mm -hmm. whatever you are. They're going to try to test your patience. Amen. Mm -hmm. amen. Somebody yeah. say amen. 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 Mm -hmm. amen. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So you will be tested to why and how you are building what you're building. Amen. Right? Amen. 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 Praise good. the Lord. That's good. That's Praise good. the Lord. You know, um, devils is not only in um, in the world, but they are, you know, fully in church. Right. You want to say something? Right. The devil is they definitely they did in secret. Mm -hmm. The devil is high. But that fire will bring the devils out. Mm -hmm. That the, the fire will bring the motives and how you're building and why you're building and why you join the board and why you... You are minister, and why you pastor? Why you this, and why you that? The fire will test those things to see: Are you building in the right foundation? Are you building mm -hmm. in the right thing? It, like, especially in the marriage, the fire will come. We don't know how if the house gonna burn, but the fire will come. Come on now, teach us. Hmm? We have to teach people that anytime there's a building, mm -hmm. there's gonna be a fire. Good. If you're building your marriage, there's going to be a fire mm -hmm. to see if it's building on the right foundation. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. If it's not on the right foundation, guess what it's going to do? It's going to burn down, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Tell the truth. Yeah, it, it's going to be like, yo, you ain't building up to code. Um, so we need to wreck everything. Yeah. We need to put everything down. Mm -hmm. We need to break that relationship down mm -hmm. and really see what it's was well, you know, it is up to code according to the kingdom. Wow. Amen. Amen. So that's why we see a lot of marriages broken down, a lot of relations, because it was built on something totally different than what God would want it to be. Amen. In. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. You're trying to build it by your strength, by your power, by your ability. You're trying to build it by sex. It's not built that way. Amen. You understand? Amen. Praise the Lord. Because I told somebody, sex ain't going to keep nobody together. No, it would not. You left. Oh, how many men you left? I mean, <laughs> it, it, if, it, if it was sex, then you'd have been with them. Yeah. Right. How many women you left? Yeah. Right. It was sex to keep you together, then you'd have been with the first woman you've been with. Yeah. You would have stayed with them. So that's not what built the foundation. Amen. It's a foundation of love and, and according, you, you know, not only can you build the ministry, um, to, 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 to the will of God but you have to build your relationship your marriages according to the will of God 
because if God is not the blueprint in the marriage, it ain't gonna work. Come on, teach us. And let me, let me yeah. tell you, what I learned is just because something stays together doesn't mean it's working. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's good. So, that's good. Wow. Ooh, that's good. Don't think because it stands, it's working. That's good. It's only standing be until the bulldozer comes. <laughs> <laughs> it's out of cold. You know what I'm saying? It's out of cold, yeah. man. Yeah. Have you seen building that's been condemned but uh -huh. it's still standing? Yes. Yeah. It, it fall down, right? No. Until the bulldozer yeah. comes. Yeah. So it's only standing until the bulldozer yeah. comes to break it down to show people that it's been out of cold. Amen. Wow. That's good. Hmm? Wow. So don't think, oh, it's standing, it's here. No. Until the bull goes away. Tear it down. That says out of cold. It's not done according to the will of God. It's not um, done according, you know, that that goes for ministry, that goes for marriage, that goes for friendship, that goes for anything. If it's not built according to the code, the spiritual code of God, it's not going to stand, it's not Amen. going to hold, it's Amen. not going to keep. If you don't know your role in ministry, you're going to be miserable because sometimes your role is to sit there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the role is to be a door. You think that door say, I'm tired of cooling these here <laughs> thing here and let them people come through me. Let me go walk down the street and become something else. No, he's not. Right. He has to be there. That's right. And guess what happened? What does that door, even though we put all the frames in this building mm -hmm. and we do everything up without the door, right? Entry. There's no safety. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. Without, without that door, there's no safety. So the, so so everything in the house have a purpose. Without that glass, they probably be able to come through. The wind, the cold, yeah. everything else have to be cool. And the most important part of this building is the steel that you don't even see. Yeah. Some of it is so deep down that you don't even see them. You, 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 when you walk in this building, you say, oh, where's the steel at? Nobody cares about it. Right. Nobody cares about the steel. Nobody cares. Sometimes when you're the most important, you are the most ignored. Mm. Wow. Because nobody sees you. Wow. Because wow. sometimes what's important, people don't see you. Wow. And a lot of times people are in church, we you know, um, I don't have no importance now. Know the difference between being seen mm -hmm. on a mic and being purposeful. That's good. Purposeful. Sometimes you can be purposeful on just showing up. Yes. yes. I remember when I was at um, e um, Elam International, mm -hmm. and there was one lady, forgot her name, but she ran the school. She ran everything. Mm -hmm. um, she was the dean, the president and the dean mm -hmm. of the children's school. She ran everything for the ministry, and usually... She sits in the back, and you will know, you know, in the front, we see the pat bishop, we see the ministers, we see all the glorious thing, but we don't see the person that's holding it all together. Wow. Like a little lady who had all the knowledge and wisdom, putting everything together. Wow. And she was comfortable not being seen, because the reason why church cannot be held together, because the thing that's supposed to be hidden wants to be seen. That's good. Teach. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Want to be seen? It doesn't pay. Some well, this is why you don't put people to hold things together when they when their character is revealed. Ooh, that's good. Because you're not built to hold nothing together because you're too busy want to be seen. That's good. You understand? Know You're too busy want to be seen. You don't want to sweep no floor because you want to be seen. Mm -hmm. Right, right. You don't want to bring nobody a cup of coffee. You don't want to be seen. Without understanding, unless you bring that person to be comfortable by doing little things that you do on a purpose. Okay, now, now let, me, let me give you a second. You remember the thing with Jesus, with the um, woman? When she busts into the house, mm -hmm. she put all on his feet. Mm -hmm. right. Little things. And everybody got mad. Oh, what's she doing? She a prostitute. She did, oh, everybody mad. Right. But guess what? And, and she began to rub Jesus' feet and do everything else. You know, and everybody got upset. Everybody got angry. Right. 
And, and Jesus said, why are you mad? She's preparing me for my burial. So she was preparing Jesus for his assignment. That's good. If I'm going to have so much pain, let me enjoy a little comfort before yes. pain comes. Yes, that's good. Because that's good. Mm -hmm. what she's doing is helping me resist and be able to deal with the assignment that's being given to me, Amen. which is to die. Mm. Wow. That's good. When wow. you bring a cup of coffee to your pastor, when you make things comfortable for him, you you help in the preaching of reaching souls. Amen. Oh, nobody here. Amen. 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 Got so you. So you make, you make conducive. I'm hearing you, prophet. Make conducive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Be easy. But, but 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 here you are. Well, what I'm doing is not important. It's right. not seen because I'm not in the, in the mic falling out and the trade by <laughs> calling my name. But guess what happened? You you are it. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you the story of the donkey. You know that that rode Jesus right to the thing, the Ark of Triumph, and um, the donkey was riding Jesus. You know, and everybody began to scream. Hosanna, Hosanna. The donkey said, look at what they're doing for me. <laughs> look at what they're doing for me. <laughs> look at all the people, you know, yelling my name. Right, right, right. You know, right. yelling my name and screaming my name. Right, right. You know, it's okay for, the, for you to take a little credit because, hey, you know, he was carrying Jesus. Right, and he right, thought right. it was for him. Right. But guess what happened? Mm -hmm. He was purposeful. Mm -hmm. yeah. Guess what he was carrying? The foundation. Yeah. Man, it's good. It's a good, good story. Wow. You want to say something? I'm done. <laughs> but this is why we fight in church. We fight in church because we want to be the one to be seen. We want to be the one to do this. We want to be the one to do that. But sometimes. The most important thing is the invisible thing that nobody see you yes. or know your name or do whatever, but you are the most potent, you are the most important piece. By doing something so much simple, right. you Amen. make things better. Right. By helping the people who's doing the job to do it in peace, yes. to do it in well, to make them comfortable, mm -hmm. you get the credit because you get to do that. Yes, amen, amen. That's good. The church mm -hmm. now, everybody want to be bishops. Everybody want to be pastors. Everybody want to be evangelists. Everybody want to be um, prophets and all kind of things. So if we, everybody's a prophet, mm -hmm. right, who's going to be doing the foundation? Who's going to hold things invisibly Amen. without being seen Amen. so that the work can be done? Amen. So God can be glorified yes, and Lord. not man. Amen. Amen. That's good. Right. Mm -hmm. Right? That's, 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 that's why I, I always find like for people to understand and it's the same with the low profile the best profile mm -hmm. when you low when people never see nothing about you never see nothing but meanwhile you're putting things together nobody know behind the scenes that's why it's always good to stay low the humility humble always have a humble spirit humble mindset be humble never want to be that's why, that's why I always say like you be so humble to the point that you go over to the earth and people never see you they never see you Mm -hmm. Never see you, but when people want to, when you want to be seen and want to know, sometimes something ain't right with you. Mm -hmm. So something ain't right with you in your childhood. Some something ain't right. Well, you know, something a lot right. of times, simple something simple like changing a life for the ministry for people mm -hmm. to see yeah. goes mm -hmm. deep into a work that you have put in to help other people. Right. Some simple, yeah, can help the mm -hmm. foundations to grow and yeah. give it all the meaning. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people talk about the big stuff. But let's talk about the invisible things right? yes. that nobody can ever see, mm -hmm. but it's holding everything together. Amen. You know, somebody Amen. said, it's just why it's not small to get it. No. Small, the little things that, that you don't think is so small, that can be so much better. That's, that's the thing that's it, 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 it goes into a small thing. It's about being a servant. Right. Amen. Before you become apostles and prophets, okay. be, um, um, before you become apostles and prophets and you prophesy in the world, Always learn to be honestly a servant and serve without complaining. Serve to the fullest and serve to the best. Don't serve halfway, yeah. but serve with integrity, with character. Um, serve with the fullness. Make it more than what it is supposed to be. Good to serve, go get fortune.
the best plates, yes, the best yes, everything. Yes. I serve with excellence. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. And when you do become apostles and prophets, you still know, understand, serve. Amen. And that no matter how hard you get, um, no matter how much a title you have, you're always going to be a servant, you're always going to be a son. Amen. 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 Because let me tell you, some of you come here, maybe at home you get served. Mm -hmm. But when you come here, you begin to serve others. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At home, people call you mom, but when you come here, you're calling somebody mom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. At home, other people, your little children and, and your family members, they all submit to you. But when you come here, you have to submit. Amen. So what I learned is that wherever you go, you're always going to be a president somewhere, and you're always going to be a son somewhere, Amen. and you're always going to be a daughter, and you're, you know, you see what I'm saying to you? Yes. But anyway, we're going to stop right here. My name is Pastor Emmanuel and I have to know that. Mr. Keith Doggy, we have one thing to say to you. Jesus, Jesus is Lord. God bless you.